This is just utterly bizarre. Look at this. This insect has tails made from wax. I have seen many weird insects in my life, but this just takes the cake. This is Bert Coppens, and welcome to my bug highlight. Oh my god, this is absolutely insane! What is it? This, ladies and gentlemen, is an awesome species of lanternfly. It's called the variegated waxtail. And it's a common species of lanternfly in the part of Brazil, Regua, where I am currently working as an entomologist. My name is Bert Coppens and I document insects in a natural reserve for scientific conservation, but more importantly, of course, social media entertainment purposes, to draw awareness for the reserve and its insects. Now I hope this weird insect got your attention today, because we're making a close-up of this mythical creature. Right. Let's start with the identification. The binomial name is Phoenix varigiata. And I assure you, despite its scary appearance, the insect is totally vegetarian. Lanternflies are insects that use sucking mouth parts to draw sap from plants. And their diet seems to consist on drinking plant sap. So what's the deal with the freaky tentacles? Well, those aren't actually a part of their body. They're an excretion of wax. That's right. The tails are essentially dried out, curled up waxy filaments. If touched, the wax can break off, which seems to happen quite regularly, because I encountered individuals of Phoenix vergiata with extremely long tails, but also individuals without any tails whatsoever. I guess it's just a buildup of a substance of wax that protects them. Although little research seems to be available, I have some theories. First of all, a lot of insects have tails that can break off when they are grabbed, so the insect gets away safely. Even lizard tails do this, for example. But also think about the tails of some species of butterflies and moths that break off when they are grabbed. Now, what I'm about to say is a conjecture, so please don't take it as a fact written in stone, because it needs more research. But I imagine the defensive purpose of the waxy tails is making it so that predators grab the tails that break off, so the insect gets away safely. Wax also has other health benefits to insects, such as the fact it is water resistant. This is useful in protecting themselves from fungal spores that can infect insects, for example, and other pathogens. Oh, and speaking of fungi, another theory is that the tails could mimic a cordyceps fungus. Although I am skeptical about this theory, but who knows? The truth is that we just know very little about this species. Curiously, I wanted to educate you about the biology and the life cycle of this insect, but after looking around in literature, I found almost no information. I wonder why. Maybe it's because I'm bad at finding information, or because we simply don't know anything about this insect. There are so many rainforest insects that warrant further studies, to be honest, including this one. I'm trying to my best to educate you about them, but it's hard if there's no information. So the greatest educational message of today is the fact there's hundreds of cool insects like these that no one is researching. This, my friends, is why we need to invest in entomology and the environment. If anyone knows more about these species or is researching them, please reach out to me. I am interested in any research or literature published about them. This was Bart Coppens with the bug highlight. I'm an entomologist in Brazil, documenting local insects and invertebrates. If you like my show, consider the fact YouTube demonetized my entire channel without telling me why. And I'm doing this more or less for free. I rely on donations and crowdfunding to keep my show alive. And as much as I hate begging and asking strangers for money online, I wouldn't be able to do any of this without your help. See you on the next video. Bye bye.